This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to disable the Control plus F hotkey? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo head here loaded in. And the question is asking about disabling a default hotkey inside of ZBrush. So the example sent in was the hotkey Control F. So let's say you're working on your model like so, and then you accidentally press Control plus F, and it performs a canvas fill. So you may be used to using the hotkey of Control F in another application, and out of muscle memory, when you're inside a ZBrush, you accidentally click that hotkey, and then it performs this layer fill. So how can you go by disabling this hotkey so that if you accidentally click it, it no longer functions inside a ZBrush? So to do this, we just need to assign that Control F hotkey to something else. So I'm going to go up to the layer palette here and just do a clear, which will just clear my canvas back to how it was originally. And I'm just gonna redraw the demo head back out into my scene. And now I'm just gonna go back into edit mode. So one UI element inside of ZBrush that's good to assign unwanted hotkeys to is this rotate on all axis option. So most of the times this is toggled on, and if you click on it, you can see that it will not toggle back off. So it's only gonna turn off if you select rotate on Y or rotate on Z. So if you have a hotkey that you're accidentally clicking all the time, we can just set this hotkey to toggle on this option here. And since this option is usually always toggled on, you're not gonna get anything happening inside of ZBrush if you accidentally click that hotkey. So to assign a hotkey, we just need to hover over the UI element, and then we need to press Control plus Alt, and then click. And then you'll notice at the top here, that's going to tell you press any key combination to assign the custom hotkey. So that process again is hold down Control, hold down Alt, and then click on the button you want to assign the hotkey to. So now that I have the hotkey assignment ready to go, I now just need to hold down Control and then press F. And you'll see as I hover over this UI element again, it's now telling me that the process of rotate on all access is assigned to control F. So now if I go back to my model here and I accidentally click control plus F, you'll see that nothing is going to happen. So it's no longer performing that layer fill. So that process again is just to assign the hotkey to a UI element inside a ZBrush that can't be toggled off or that is usually always on. So the good example here to do this with is this rotate on all access. Now, once you have assigned a hotkey in your UI, you wanna make sure that you store that as well. So when you go up to the preferences tab here and open this up, we need to go to the hotkeys area here and you need to click this store button. After you click store, the next time you launch ZBrush, that hotkey will be remembered. And so if you click control F, it will no longer fill the canvas. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.